Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm one of the teachers working with the Chinese Canadian National Council for Social Justice. In this video series, we will be learning about how racism affects the Chinese community and also how it affects others like black and indigenous communities too. We will also learn how we can fight against racism together. If you haven't checked out our video and infographic series, be sure that you do. It isn't always easy to fight racism. In this video, we take a look at what some of those challenges are and how we can best respond. Challenge number one. Have you ever heard someone say, Canada is such a welcoming and multicultural place. There's no racism here. In my school, they celebrate Chinese New Year and Black History Month. I don't know what people are talking about. Racism? Not in my school. It can be really hard to fight racism when not everyone understands what racism is and how it works. Canada is a multicultural country where people of different races and cultures live together. But when we only celebrate different cultures, it doesn't stop the individual racism that people experience. And it doesn't stop the systemic racism that happens in schools, in TV and movies, in workplaces, hospitals, prisons, and other parts of the system that make up systemic racism. Challenge number two. Another challenge is when people compare the racism in Canada with the racism in other countries. It might sound something like this. We're so lucky to live in Canada. There's so much less racism here than there is in other places. Have you heard that before? People compare the racism in Canada with the racism in other countries because it makes them feel lucky and thankful to be here in Canada. But racism is a big problem in Canada too. In our infographic series, Racism Towards Different Communities, we show you how racism towards black, indigenous, and Asian communities have been a part of Canada's history for a long time. And it's still happening now. We can be thankful about being here in Canada. And at the same time, we can also tell the truth about how racism is harming different communities here. Both of these can be true. Challenge number three. This challenge sounds like this. What's the point? Racism is never going to change. I'm just one person. I'm never going to be able to make a difference anyways. Let's be real. Racism is exhausting, whether you're trying to fight it or if you're the one experiencing it. But we have seen changes. It just takes time and it takes everyone to make a difference. Think about it like being on a sports team. If one person on the team decides they don't really want to go to practice anymore, it affects the entire team's chances of winning. Fighting racism is not any different. Each of our words and our actions matter. If we all do our part, we can make a strong team to fight against racism. Challenge number four. Here's what it sounds like. I'll fight racism when it's happening towards my people, but racism towards other groups? Why should I care? That's not my fight. This thinking is a problem because it's missing the whole picture of how racism works. In our second video, we talked about systemic racism. Remember, racism is like a machine with many different parts. And these parts all work together like a system. Since all of us are a part of the system, we are all hurt by racism, no matter what. Racism looks different for every group. For example, anti-black racism, anti-indigenous racism, and anti-Asian racism are all experienced very differently. But the cause of racism is something that we all have in common. So if we truly want to break down the system of racism, we have to stand together and we have to fight when racism is happening to our communities, but also to each other's communities. And together we can make a strong team against racism. Challenge number five. This one can be a bit tricky. It sounds like this. I just don't know how to tell someone that what they're saying is racist they're my friends and they're my family. I don't want to hurt their feelings. And if I tell them, what if they don't like me anymore? We all care about our family and our friends. And it can be really scary to speak up. 
because we care about what they think of us and we want to make sure we have a good relationship with them. The problem is, if we don't tell them, they will never know how hurtful their words or actions are. And if we don't say anything, we become part of the problem of racism. Here's another way to think about it. When we tell our friends and family the truth about how hurtful their comments and actions are, then we're also teaching them about racism. It isn't always easy, but when we learn about how racism works, then we also learn how to talk about it with other people and invite them to join us to fight against racism together. Are you getting curious? Then be sure to watch our next video, Fighting Racism, What Can We Do? See you next time.